All right, it's time for an update on my ESP Rainbow, my ZX Spectrum emulator with its nice full color silkscreen printing. So I've been testing out the latest boards from PCBWay. Did a fantastic job as always. The, uh, the full color silkscreen has come out amazingly well. But let's have a look at what's been changed. So there's been some enhancements to the um, firmware and I've added the 128K ZX Spectrum emulator on top of the 48K. So the 48K still works, so we can go into the basic and we can do the usual, um, let's do a hello world, um, yeah, and run, yeah, hello world, so that works nicely. And we can now go into 128K Spectrum basic. Um, so we'll go into basic. And this has prompted me to do an upgrade on the old speaker. So we now have a 2 watt speaker. We used to have a 0.7 watt buzzer. So I can use the Spectrum play command to play some musical notes. So that's pretty cool. We get quite a nice output. This is just using PWM, so that's pretty impressive. But if I load up a um, ZX Spectrum 128K game with some nice music. So, oops, let's go into the actual game picker. So, games, and I quite like the never ending story. So, I've enhanced the search as well. So, we can now just type the first few letters. So, never ending 128. So, let's load this up. The music slowly ramps up. Um, so, I'll play this and you can hear just how good it is. So that's not bad at all. And of course, the uh, the old um, 48K Spectrum buzzer games also get a bit of a boost. But they, uh, they sounded good already. But let's just load up Manic Miner just to uh, show that. So we go down to Manic Miner. Now, the other enhancement I made is you can now hit the boot button. And you can save a snapshot. So let's do uh, let's do manic um, uh, ninety nine. There we go. So now go back to the main menu. Go snapshots. And we can find our manic ninety nine. We're exactly back where we started. Now since we've now got a quite a nice speaker. I thought I'd port my video player across to the um, to the system, so we can run the video player. And uh, let's just um, let's just play a Battle of the Planets. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, other enhancements to the hardware, you'll notice there's a few more capacitors. Um, I've switched over to a new power control chip. I mean, it is pretty tiny, it's, uh, it's somewhere here on the board. But now we can switch between battery mode and USB mode pretty seamlessly. So if I unplug the USB, you'll see we still carry on running completely as normal. Um, of course, we can turn the power off and turn the power on. But we're running off battery power now and then if we plug USB back in we'll seamlessly switch back to USB power. So there we go and you can see the little red light indicates the battery is charging. So, uh, so that's a nice enhancement and a little addition. The nice thing about this power control chip is that it controls the slew rate of the current. So with USB you're only actually allowed 10 microfarads of capacitance on the end of the USB and obviously with all our decoupling capacitors and this big bulk capacitor, we've got a lot more than that. But this nice little power control chip controls the amount of current that is drawn initially, so it ramps up slowly. So it's like a sort of soft start. Um, so that's pretty cool. So the hardware is progressing nicely. I think the hardware is actually pretty much done. I do need to send this board off to be CE certified, 
and hopefully we won't get any issues with that but if we do we'll have to do another version and go through that process again um, so obviously we're getting cloud supply set up so the boards will be available soon we're just working through things like pricing and stuff to make sure that it actually makes sense and is commercially viable there's no point doing this and losing loads of money but we're getting there um, slow and steady progress um, it should be up hopefully before Christmas but shipping before Christmas might be tricky um, so yeah it's looking good um, there is an endless question does it run doom well hold on to your hats 